This simulation is going to use tie flow to generate a condensation simulation. So we're going to start with a tie flow and I'm going to open the editor and just bring up a birth. For that birth, all particles are going to be birthed by the start of the animation. Um, and we're going to start with 450 particles. I'm going to bring up a position object just to specify where those particles are going to be birthed. So for that, we will just pick the bottle. And as you can see, those particles have shown up there. Uh, we also want those particles to flow down the bottle. So I've added a force here and I'm just going to specify for the gravity to be very slight. That's going to be negative 0.05. And we're also going to add some noise and the strength of that noise, 0.2 and the scale, I'll bring that up to 12. Okay. As you can see, those particles are flowing down, but they're not binding to the bottle. So what we need to do next is just add an object bind. And I'm just going to pick the bottle and we need to click uh, lock to surface. And we also need to lower this friction at the moment. The particles wouldn't move. So we need to just specify 10 for that. Okay. Uh, next I'm going to add a shape. I'm going to give some geometry to those particles. So I'm going to choose low res sphere. And we're just going to change the scale to 140% and specify geometry within display in order for them to show up. Okay. As you can see, they're flowing down the bottle. Um, the final thing I'm going to add is an object test, and that just allows us to dictate some parameters by which um, those particles will then be deleted. And those parameters are if it drops um, beneath the bottle, they're then going to be deleted. Okay, the final thing I'm going to add on this particular event is a branch. So we're going to have some smaller droplets coming out from these larger ones. And I'm going to have the distance set to 1.2 centimeters between those particles. Okay, um, so we're going to create a new event here just to specify um, the behavior of those particles as they're coming out. So we'll have a particle bind as well, okay, why we need to pick the bottle and we'll lock to surface. Um, we're going to give them some dimensions. I'm going to add a shape up around. And we're also going to click low res sphere. And once again, that's already displaying as geometry, so we can leave that as is. Um, next, we are going to do a property test. So this is going to allow us uh, to specify some behavior of these particles, these um, child particles. So when the event age is greater or equal to, let's say 12, um, they're also then going to be deleted. Okay, um, and we're also going to add a scale because we don't want them to be looking exactly like uh, the parent particles. We want them to be smaller droplets as they come off. So we're gonna choose this as a relative add, and we're going to set the percentage at 92. So they're eventually just going to um, peter out those particles, and we can observe this. Okay, we actually need to join that branch here um, for that effect to take place. So as you can see, the particles are flowing down and getting smaller and smaller and eventually disappearing. All right, um, now we're going to add some more condensation. So for this, we're actually going to add another tie flow. And we can bring up the editor for this tie flow. We're just going to add a birth. And also particles are going to be 
just all at once um, from the very start. We're going to have a lot of particles for this. It's going to be 80,000 particles. This is going to be very small droplets. We're going to add a particle force. And what we're going to do with this, we're going to borrow the parameters from that earlier tie flow. So we're just going to pick tie flow one for that. We're also going to add a position icon or a position object and pick the bottle um, to specify where those particles are being birthed. And we're also going to add a property test like that last one. So, so for this property test, it's going to allow us to say that when these larger particles flow through the smaller particles, um, the smaller particles are going to be kind of look like they're absorbed up. So um, we're going to add velocity magnitude. Here we are, velocity magnitude. Um, greater than zero. And finally, we're just going to add a shape. And once again, we're going to have low res spheres. And we're going to set the scale of those a little smaller. So they're going to be 35. Uh, and we just need to specify geometry on the shape for those to show up. Okay. The final thing I'm going to do is just change the colors of these so they look a little bit more like water.